Hey guys, what's up? So, here we like how to do, like, uh, how to do a, uh, how to do a mod, a bike for a mech simulator. Uh, wow, that took way longer than it should have. Anyway, so you'll need a bike that has the PSD, like, it has, it has to have all this stuff in here, basically. And I'll just show you the. F I got it from 2016. I got it from uh, Honda one CR125. I got it from here. I just downloaded it. Here's all the stuff. Anyway, I'll leave the description and in, in the link bo below or description for the uh, which one called? Sorry, uh, the link for the photo editor and stuff you'll need. So basically, what you will need is you'll need this PSD and you'll need some JMs. I, I'm naming it uh, random 125 because it's random. I just, yeah. Anyway, so if you go in to, I'm using GIMP. You can use Photoshop. You can use anything. Or that is a photo editor. So, and you want to put your name and number on it. So, you just put your, take text box. Take text box like this. I'm going to do 140 different. I'll type in I, impact, condense. Um, and then I'll put in 497 because it's my number. And then I will uh, take this kind of this tool, give it curvature, and then you kind of can move it a little bit. See, if the wider you go in the circle, the more it moves it. So if you kind of, I'm bringing it right here. Now there's, I'm gonna just uh, put it like this, four nine seven, like that. That's cool. Now take this text box, like this, like this, make it fatter. Okay, now. Uh, one forty. Now, if I put it on I, that's right. Impact condensed. I'm gonna show you what the blue color will look like. Okay, four nine seven. That's not the blue color, but anyway. Okay. So let me redo this real quick. Just to show you what the colors look like, just so you can kind of just see. Uh, pick this set of colors, blue, okay, blue numbers on a red bike, I know what you're saying, ew, that looks really stupid, but it's okay, because it's just for a tutorial, I would never do this on a real bike, that would almost, that would kill me, it'd be painful. Anyway, so 497, 497, A, text box, text box, Take text box. I I use if you just delete that and type in I and just look at the process that I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna pick a uh, hundred and I'm gonna pick red just to show you the colors. Four nine seven. Okay. Now you're gonna wanna probably want put your name on it. So I'm gonna put this lower down here. Now I'm gonna take my name or this text box and make another thing right here for my name. So if I pick out, if I go to 40, this would be about perfect. Uh, I could put it in green. I'm just trying to show you all these color choices. Muzz, and then cool, and then just muzz. Muzz C, that's what I'm gonna put. You can expand it to fit the text size, muzz C. You know, and it fits pretty good. So I'm gonna leave it how it is. Now, if you didn't put this all, this all needs to be under the shading, the like bike shading. So you can just drag it into the shading category, because it it'll work there. So shock, stock graphic, cutout, all this good stuff. Um, now this is just the name and number. Now file. You can save it as an XCF, but you won't need this. Just you could save it, but but you're, for the camp you want to export as. And then select, you need to select the file type, and then it needs to be a P in PNG uh, file. And then it needs to be CR125, and then it can be like this, but you don't need this, you can just, this is what you'll need mainly. And then I, I'm just going to put in muzz clutch, okay, muzz clutch, good enough. So now I'll export. And it'll export it to the file we have. Export. Okay. Give it a minute. I already saved mine. You might have to save it again. 
Uh, again, we'll leave a link in the description for that music. So now, you don't need this in here, and you don't need this in here, so you can kind of just, I opened that on accident, and then, so you can kind of just drag these out there, so, but you'll need this, 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 you need every, everything right here that I have, and it all needs to be 125, 120, random 125, and it just needs to be, this doesn't matter right here, this doesn't have to be in these, um, so now, basically, you're pretty much done, but, I'm gonna move on to this folder called Muzz Clutch, just cause it's a little, yeah, better. Okay, move this clutch. Okay, everything's there. Now, you'll need something called a SAF creator. Just basically turns it into a SAF, right in the name, easy. New folder, let's check what's in here. Okay, so this is the dead folder, one second, okay. So now, you wanna go to your SAF folder, so I have it in my apps. SAFcreator.exe, we'll leave a link for this, choose a folder. Now, I'm gonna just select that right now, but you'll need strip selected folder from path. Browse, now you wanna take this folder from Muzz Clutch. That's where you put all your uh, the stuff you just did in. Now save as. I'll put browse uh, my staff. No, I'll just put uh, I'll put uh, Muzz Clutch. Okay, now good. Save. Create. Okay. Now here's the staff right here. I'm gonna put it on my desktop so I can X out of these things. Okay. Now get out of here. Get out of here. So here's the staff with your bike skip. Now, you need to locate your personal folder. Mine's right here. I'll just, if you just type in MX Sim, it, MX Sim, it'll come up personal folder. Now, once you're here, you just drag this folder into here. Uh, so, now you're good. But, get an MX Simulator, and then a bike setup, CR125. Here's my buddies, here's like my personal one, with clutch. Now, here's all the stuff. Okay, so, here's my clutch. So here's the stuff, uh, let me make sure. So now, uh, 